Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 In this video I'll be covering Dartmoor on Master Difficulty, Sergeant Assassin Suit only. For the second method I'll be doing Sergeant Assassin Suit only with Sniper Assassin as well on top of that. You don't have to do it Suit only for the second one for Sniper Assassin, but I just thought I'd show it in there because I thought it was really cool anyway. So that's what I'm going to do for this video. We're in Dartmoor, Sergeant Assassin Suit only. This is going to be covering all the classics challenges, by the way. So yeah, for method one, we're doing a straight up Sergeant Assassin Suit only. We're going to start behind Mansion. I'm going to bring along a silver baller and a coin. That's all we're going to need. And we can, we're bringing along a silver baller because it's more accurate than the, uh, the regular ICA-19. But you can bring on any suppressed pistol, really. But yeah, timestamps in the description if you want to get the Sun as Sniper Assassin at the end of the video. So what we need to do is run straight to this bush right here and line up the shop. Shot. I should say, not shop. Line up the shot of that uh, chandelier chain. And once you've got that locked in, what we're going to do is just keep the camera where it is. So that little dot is going to be your guide. So when Alexa Carlisle passes underneath that chandelier, we're just going to snapshot to that uh, chandelier because we've already like, got the game right, right there on it. And it's going to drop on her head through the window and we get a quick accident kill through via the chandelier. So it's really cool. And there we go. So that will drop on her head. That's, That's an Carlisle. accident kill. So it doesn't matter if the uh, body is found. Uh, it's not going to negate your Silent Assassin score, so... From here, we're just going to run straight to this pipe over here and head towards Alexa Carlisle's room, because we need to get the case file from the safe. So that's pretty much all we need to do as well. So, we're going to come through this bathroom and just run across this landing. Just be careful of that uh, guard that's in the hallway. He does patrol up and down. Going to dive out of this window right here and climb up the pipe. And at the top of the pipe, we are at Alexa's room. Just be wary of the guards around this area. And the guard that's just going to be around, hovering around. Just be wary of that. So we're going to activate it, the safe, and use the code 1975. Grab the case file, and we're done. So what we're going to do now is retrace our steps. So go back out. Again, be wary of the guards outside. We're going to climb back down the uh, the, uh, the pipe. And when this, this time I'm going to move past the window and go along this ledge. And on the other side there's going to be uh, like an outside area with a guard. On the other side there's going to be a ladder. So that is going to be counted as one of your persistent shortcuts. So if you're playing Master Difficulty this should be open for you. If you haven't got the shortcuts open though, I'll leave a link to the shortcuts in the description. And how to open them all. But once we slid down here, the only people you need to be worried about now is just uh, these two hanging by the exit. They can, they can be quite annoying, but we're just going to wait for them to have their backs turned to us, and then we're going to run across the bridge. And that's how you do a quick silent assassin suit running. What I do find funny is, you see this little cutscene there? The guard spots you in the cutscene. It's too late anyway, as soon as you hit the exit, your score is automatically counted as that. That's it. So, the fact that he spots you in the cutscene after is quite funny. It's even more funnier in the second method, which I'll show you. But that's how you do a quick silent assassin suit only on master mode for Darmor. For sniper assassin, however, I'm going to bring along a Seeker 1. Now, you don't have to bring this, and I'll explain why a little bit later on. But in the briefcase, we're going to have the Seeker 300 Ghost. In my opinion, it's the best sniper rifle in the game. And we're going to start behind Mansion again. From the very start, we're going to take the sniper rifle out of the briefcase. Run it straight over to this bush right here. And then we're going to shoot three birds nests are in the trees by the cemetery so there's one there's two and a little bit to the left there's a third one in the distance that's going to clear the birds and that's going to get alexa to come downstairs and that's where we're going to take her out a little bit later on so we're just doing that now just to speed things up for now we're going to crouch run through this section because we don't want to get spotted i'm going to run up these stairs just like in method one we're going to use the same little route up to that room because we need to go to the safe the timing is a little bit different this time, though, so we have to be wary of the, the NPCs that are hanging around, like this woman right here. Wait for her to have a back to us before we climb up the pipe. Once you exit this bathroom right here, stick to the wall on the left like glue. It cuts down your chances of actually getting spotted. Again, stick to the left. Again, be wary of the guy in the corridor. I'll close that door behind me just in case. Climb out of this window, climb up this pipe, 
and then we're going to hang on this ledge and then shimmy all the way around. So once we've shimmied around to this side, we can safely climb up. There's going to be four guards inside and Alexa in the private room. So what we're going to do is uh, Alexa is going to get alerted to the fact that those birds' nests are cleared. So she's going to head downstairs to the cemetery area. So as she's exiting the room, we're going to take out our seeker one and then we're going to shoot her bodyguard just to make him sick. Just get him out of the way. Now, if you don't have the seeker and you're not worried about Sonic Assassin, don't worry about doing this sec section. Just uh, skip shooting this guy and just let them walk out of the room. But if you are following along, just carry on what I'm doing. I just basically crouch walked into the room. I'm going to throw this egg at this guard's head. I recommend doing that after the door is closed, by the way. Otherwise, that other guard that's hears that sound and he comes into the room just like he's done here. But I left this in instead of restarting just to show you that you can still deal with it even if he does hear it. Because you just drag the body away, hide the body in the crate. And this guy just grabs the gun and walks away. Simple. So now that's taken care of, we're going to run straight over to this chair over here. Type in 1975 on the safe. Grab the case file. Maybe now all we've got left to do is sniping Alexa Carlyle. Good work now, like I said, if you didn't have if you don't have the Seeker one, then you don't have to worry about the guard. But the only difference is you're not going to get Silent Assassin for this, unfortunately. But um, it is still a still a cool method, regardless, because that's more traditional for a sniper assassin than say just knocking her out in a room and shooting her in the head while she's knocked out. Which is uh, I don't like doing that, but sometimes there's no there's no other option. But this is more of a traditional one, we're more of a in, a in a more traditional sniper's nest. And we can actually take her out and hide her body at the same time. Because now she hasn't got a bodyguard with her, we can take her out without her body getting discovered. So that's pretty cool. So if you are worried about missing the shot as well, feel free to make a save right here. You've only got one save in Master Difficulty, unfortunately. So I'd recommend making a save right about now. But if you are following along, just wait for it to get around about this point as she's getting past the uh, the hose. And then we're just going to shoot right there on the edge of the, of the river. And once she hears it, she's going to go and investigate that sound. And once she goes out to investigate the sound, she's going to stand almost in the water. And she, sometimes it'll glitch out like this. But we're just going to shoot her in the head and that'll make her fall backwards into the water. And that'll be body hidden. You'll even get a body hidden plus 25 XP. Pop up on the screen as well, so her body can't be found after that. So we've sniped her in the head, so you'll get Sniper Assassin. And as long as you exit without getting spotted from this point, you'll get Silent Assassin suit only as well. So you'll get all the classic challenges all at the same time in one run. Like I said, which I thought was pretty cool. But you, this is going to require you getting us having a Seeker 1, which you'll need a Hitman 2 Gold Edition Access Pass to actually unlock it. Which is unfortunate, but... Uh, the only other way around that is basically not uh, not uh, caring about Silent Assassin and just doing the Sniper Assassin. So you don't end up having to do both methods. But either way, combined, you're talking seven minutes of your time. Overall, I think that's pretty good, considering there's well, five challenges overall. So there's Silent Assassin, Silent Assassin Suit Only, Suit Only, and Sniper Assassin. Oh, that's four, so there's four challenges there. But I like I like particular challenges like this, which actually seems more realistic than, well, as I was saying before, than not knocking them out. The only problem we have to deal with now is the exit is right there, and this guard has just decided to look in my direction and not move. Pretty frustrating. I don't know whether this guard has glitched out or what. There's the two other guards patrolling as well, which is, again, irritating. We're just going to have to wait patiently for him to move out of the way. There we go. You can use a remaining round of the Seeker if you like. That would probably be the better idea. I mean, this guy basically spots me in the cutscene right here. Look. <laughs> but it's too late. I've already exited, so he can't do anything about it. So he spotted me after I exited, but it was like half a second. So if you were, a bit more, if you were more patient than I am, you'd be able to do that nice and safely. But yeah, overall that's a Silent Assassin, Suit Only, and Sniper Assassin on top of that as well. Which I thought was a pretty cool run. 
but that's how you do the classic challenges for Dark War. Updated for Master Difficulty in 2022. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it helped you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. This is an updated credits for June as well, so you should see your name pop up if you joined our membership in uh, May. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.